today I'm going to be doing an updated setup tour because the last time I made a setup tour it was uploaded like a year ago and a lot has changed since then. My setup is a lot more in theme now. I spent a lot of money on it but it does make streaming and drawing a lot easier nowadays. So I hope you enjoy my setup as much as I do and without further ado let's get on with the tour. So starting with my monitors, I have a dual monitor setup with my main monitor being a Scepter 24 inch one. The second monitor, I'm not really sure what it is because my mom gave it to me, but I just use this one for like Discord and OBS when I'm streaming. I spray painted my monitor white with some $5 spray can from Home Depot. And with my second monitor, I just added a piece of tape and then I have a like a white monitor stand that I got off of Amazon. My monitor stand actually allows you to move the monitor closer. I think in general, I, I like having the um, monitor closer to me when I play games, but it looks a lot nicer when it's pushed back. So nice option. But the only issue with this monitor stand is that when you try to adjust the height, it has to adjust the height of both monitors. But as you can see, my second monitor is too big for that. For cable management, I use these cat cable ties that I got from Daiso. Uh, it's the same for under my desk. In the front, we have my Mode 65 keyboard. I love this thing so much. It was really expensive, but so worth it. Inside are silent alpaca switches and the keycaps I got off of Etsy. The cable I also got off of Amazon. Next, we have my mouse. It's a Logitech Pro X Super Light that I got as a gift. Underneath, I have my desk pad. I really like purple and plaid, um, but this one works pretty well. It's really big and it, it I think it ties together the whole pur purple theme. For my stream deck, it was actually a black one that I spray painted white with the same spray paint that I used for my monitor. Um, it was on sale on Amazon but only the black one was on sale and the white one was still full price so i was just like okay i have five dollars spray paint might as well continue using it and it works per perfectly fine um and then next to that i have a numpad from amazon basically it turns my stream deck into like an xl kind of um if i didn't i didn't want to spend that much money on a stream deck xl that's like when you're rich kind of thing like when you're a rich streamer next to my stream deck is this little plate that i painted myself i went to like a little pottery painting place with a friend they tell you that the paint is gonna come out darker after it's um done but i'm not a trust the process kind of person i kind of <laughs> but i have a google home right here it's also connected to my lights when i have my camera on for streaming i usually have a purple floodlight in the back but it's like on my ceiling usually people have their floodlights on the bottom but up on one of my shelves is this ikea lamp that i use not directed towards me but i just point the light towards the wall and it, it's really good for illuminating my face i also have some squishies i don't know what to call these things but my aunt got them for me and my cousins other than that i have some random stuff another silent alpaca and this rose quartz mushroom that was also a gift just over here on the far left is my switch it's connected to my capture card and to my pc so i play breath of the wild on stream it's because i have this <laughs> setup in front of that i have a 3ds uh, that i don't really use anymore um this is where i also keep my hydro flask when i'm not streaming uh i usually i bring it out to the front of my pc where this little plate is right now there's an energy drink on it but i'm not a fan of fizzy drinks but this one has just so much caffeine in it i can take a few sips and i have an Enough energy to like stream for a while so back to the side i have my ps4 over here too but i also don't use it i should probably sell it sometime this is my whiteboard that i use to just write down random notes um especially when i'm streaming i write on here a lot i have a vote in the beginning of my streams like the first 10 minutes uh, i display thumbnails of which game i could be playing that day and the chat gets to vote it's a little democracy it also has some drawers where i can put more markers but i really don't use that part 
Behind that, I have this pencil case from Muji. I used to really be into stationery. I, I don't know, maybe I'll use them. I'm going back to school this summer, so maybe I'll start using my stationery again, but I really like matching stationery. It's so nice to look at. Um, then I have this Sally trash can that I don't even use as a trash can anymore. It's just there, um, but it was on sale for like five bucks at the line store in Times Square, New York. Um, so I got it because I thought I would use it more, but... Oh well. And then I have more Muji stationery next to it. My mom also really likes Muji and she bought this for my brothers, but I don't know. My brothers don't appreciate stationery the way I do. So once they stopped using it, I was like, wow, that means I get free stuff now. Next, I have my mic setup. So this mic arm is also from Amazon as well as the XLR cable. Hanging on it is this Poplio plush keychain that is from the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. Um, so my actual mic is an AKGP120. Um, this mic is really nice. I'm using it right now. <laughs> uh, it sounds, I think it sounds really nice. This is the best I've ever sounded on stream. And it's connected to a PreSonus audio box USB 96. But on top of my audio box is this Daiso cable management um, thing. And this is basically a charging station. So this white cable is for my mouse. I have a USB-C that's connected to my headset which is a Logitech G733. This is the only good purple headset that I've ever seen, or from a reputable brand at least. I didn't want to buy from some random brand. Oh, this last USB-C connects to my drawing tablet, which is an XP pen. I love it. It was like really cheap. It was like 300 bucks. I got it on a uh, sale for Christmas and i used to want a wacom cintiq but i i genuinely believe i don't need one anymore because this one just works completely fine the software sometimes is a little wonky but it's a super easy fix i just have to click out and open it up again um and i use this stand to prop it up and it's easy to draw on underneath my drawing tablet on this shelf is this box where i keep my usual streaming stuff it's just my phone stand because i i use my phone as a camera even though i have this logitech camera on top i think my phone camera quality is just better and i also have my my pen is down here and some random flowers i took off my wall but i also have this mustache i like using the mustache for just chatting streams if people redeem it i recently got into rock climbing so my friend let me borrow his i don't is this a grip trainer <laughs> I always turn the heater on. My heater is under my desk, out of sight, and it's it works fine. It's hard for me to play games without the heater on. On the top part of my shelf is this another plate. This is the second one I mentioned I got. It's this hair clip. I think my, my side bangs are kind of wonky right now, so I just clip back the parts that are too long. <laughs> and I have my wallet, and I have some lotion because my hands get dry. And then for good vibes, I have a framed picture of my dog on the dining room table sniffing flowers he just oh, the lighting is so good in this picture he looks so majestic on to my big shelf so i have this minecraft chicken and minecraft torch those are gifts oh no actually i bought that torch bts uno i won the sorengoku at a claw machine game oh i was so happy this jolteon ditto was a gift as well and then i i tried to build this bootleg rengoku replica lego thing and the pieces were just not getting put together properly i don't know why i mean i know why it was bootleg i was getting hurt trying to build this it was so hard to put those things together and i just gave up um above that is where i display more gaming stuff just for, oh more like anime stuff so uh, this i won this at my school's esports club meeting but yeah, this is free. I have this Rilakkuma from- This was a McDonald's toy from Japan in 2017. This Tokyo Ghoul Funko Pop was a Christmas gift. I have a Levi Nendroid, this Rin from Blue Exorcist, and Nico from Love Live. This little lucky cat. It was a birthday gift. I have a CD player that I don't even use because I have an okay amount of K-pop albums and sometimes I listen on there. This is my piggy bank. I love it. It's really cute. Um, it came with like an Innisfree. This was before I switched to like cruelty-free makeup and skincare. So that was a gift from, from Innisfree for spending like 70 bucks or something. Yeah, I, I spent a lot of money on skincare. On the top here is my phone stand that I got years and years and years ago on Wish. I use it. Um obviously for my phone because I use my phone as a camera when I'm streaming. 
I have a webcam, a Logitech C922, but obviously my phone camera is just way better in terms of quality. Um, and it's pretty flimsy, but I also paid like $5 for it. So you get what you pay for. Above that is just boxes filled with random stuff like notebooks and the works. Oh, like my old game. The top is completely dedicated to BTS. They still have a special place in my heart and I definitely don't want to throw any of this out. My high school graduation cap was BTS themed. Also, this stuff was all super expensive. Going back down to the bottom of my shelves is more like random knickknacks and like I have uh, art supplies in some of these from back when I was a traditional artist but that this is so old actually oh yeah back at my shelf I have uh, my dogs medication stuff in the, this black box I have letters from people like nice messages over the years that I've collected and then this box of keycaps and keyboard switches for the next keyboard I would like to build. Uh, and then on the bottom is my switches are in that box. And then I'm just gonna show you my drawers. Oh, I just throw things in there, but they still have organization. Like the first one, it should be stationary and like metal stuff. And then I have some like stationary stock, like backups and then important papers. And then the bottom one is a, a bunch of wires and electronic stuff. For my actual desk, I have a standard IKEA desktop and I removed one of the shelves from my shelf and drilled the tabletop into there. It just ended up fitting pretty good. My chair is from IKEA. Honestly, I can't really recommend it. I bought it a long time ago when I didn't know there were better chairs out there and I was more focused on price point because like I was in high school. It gets pretty uncomfortable when I'm streaming for like five, six hours. You can definitely feel it in your butt. But in order to combat that, I have two cushions that I put on it. The first thick cushion that I have is this plush from the line store. And then above that, I have this really cute flower seat cushion. This definitely isn't thick enough to be just a regular old seat cushion. So that's why I stacked two of them on there. And lastly, I have my cable management. So on the bottom, I have everything tied up pretty closely to my actual desk using my cat cable ties, of course. And closer to my PC, I have everything hidden behind my second monitor. So it's a bit crazy back here because nothing's actually tied up. But as long as no one can see it, then I say that's pretty good cable management. Now that we've seen everything in my setup, we can count up how much everything would cost if you were to buy all of these things right now. This is not including my PC or consoles, just the peripherals because I'm sure you have your own PC if you're watching this. And the price is... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I also stream variety games on my Twitch, so be sure to stop by.